Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Tony with Wicked Artists for Candle Company. We are back in the building again. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a video, but we felt like it was time. We're midway through 2022. We're still in the pandemic. We're still, uh, we're actually, we're beginning a new pandemic, all right? Uh, but the one thing that hasn't changed is we are still making candles. We still making candles. Now, if you want to learn, no, we ain't even going to learn. We're going to talk about how to start a candle business from scratch in 2022. Y'all stay tuned. Wave Tech is popping. All right, welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back. It's your boy, Tony, with Wicked Artists for Candle Co. Once again, we in the building. Um, today's video, we're going to talk about how you or anyone can start a candle business from scratch with little to no knowledge of what's going on. We're going to lay out a blueprint for you, all right? So, just a quick backstory. Uh, 2020, uh, it was right the end of 2020, the pandemic was just starting out. You was hearing about it overseas. And uh, my wife and I were sitting around talking and uh, it, it came out that things were shutting down, stores was closing, businesses was closing. But the one thing that was popping was online e-com stores. Everybody had, you know, that, that was, you know, homemade products, handmade products. Uh, you know, the ones you put in with self-care, those was popping. But a lot of people was doing it just as a way of passing time. Me, it was a way for me to relax, take my mind off things. So a 15-minute conversation turned into a full-fledged business. And two years later, we're still going. We slowed down in the uh, spring months uh, just to reevaluate. But we thought about, you know, her wicked artistry. If we could do it, anybody could do it, especially with me. So five, five or six good things that you really need to know about before you start a candle business is, number one, you need to make sure you got an LLC or let me say this, retract that statement. You need to make sure that you incorporate your business. All right. So incorporating your business means you either gonna have an LLC, which is what we have, or S Corp. You get the same perks. The only difference is with an S Corp, you're literally liable for everything. As an LLC, if something was to happen, you're only liable through the company. They can't touch your personal assets. All right, so that's, that's tip number one. All right, we're starting a candle business. So we're giving you all the tips, all the tricks, all the, all the things you need to get your candle business started. Number two, let's talk about supplies. All right, so in the pandemic, everybody was running into supply issues, all right? It was hard to get product because crates were sitting out on seas. Now, to make sure that you really want to be in this business, I suggest that you, you, order you a kit. There's plenty of companies out there. Candle Science has a, a, a starter kit. Uh, Pro Candle, uh, I think it's Pro Candle, Pro Candle Supply Company has a candle kit. You can go on Amazon, you can research what you need and Basically, it'll basically tell you what we'll do is, is we'll put it down in the description in the PDF and we'll give you a list of stuff that you're going to need. We're going to talk about it here, but you're going to need a melting pot. You're going to need wax. You're going to need some sample tins. And this is just to get started. Wicks, uh, everything that you do within your candle business, you need to make sure that you understand exactly what it is because the wrong setup can cause a ton of problems, okay? So you need to make sure that you have a candle kit to get started. All right. Now, within that candle kit, there's some things that don't come with that candle kit. So let's go to number three. Number three, you're going to need a scale. 
All right. And we're not talking about a large diameter scale for shipping. We're talking about it like a food scale. Because what you want to learn, and this is a, a pro tip, what you want to learn is you want to learn how to measure out everything in either ounces or grams, whatever you feel comfortable in. A lot of people want to tell you to measure it out in ounces. No, measure it out in whatever you feel comfortable in. Here's, here's a slight sidebar to everything that we're talking about. No one can tell you how to really run your business. We can give you suggestions on how to start it. I'm not a guru. I will never claim to be a guru. What I am is, is a person who learned how to make $3,000 in a little or no time selling products, candles, wax melts, room sprays to the guys that I work with because my mindset at that time was you had to have these fragrances and give it to the fellas so the fellas could go home and explain or show or, you know, hand out the samples to their wives, girlfriends, mothers, aunties, sisters. But what I felt that was will lead into number four, all right? And that's the mindset. But you, you really have to understand that no one can tell you how to run your business. So you're gonna need a scale, because we're doubling back. You're gonna need a scale. You're gonna need a thermometer, all right? Um, now, some of the stuff comes inside the kits. Uh, I think the last time I checked, candle size kit was like either between 50 and 80 bucks. But you're getting like a, a thing of wax, what, maybe a pound, five pounds of wax, some tins, some wicks, a few sample fragrances that you can do. Um, and I mean, these is all the beauties of everything that you truly want to have. You, you have to, you have to be able to understand that when you're making samples, these sample, these your, your first time you're learning, all right. And there's a whole lot of other stuff that goes into making candles, but we're just talking about starting a business, starting a candle business. You can go from hobbyist to candle chandler in no time, all right. Um, but remember, about a few minutes ago, I told you about. Number four. Number four is you gotta have the mindset. The mindset is, for me, what I learned was, and again, I was making candles to give to the fellas so they could take them home to the ladies. What I found out was, is the fellas love the fragrances just as well as the ladies do. Now, I should have known that because at that time, the wife and I, were literally going out and spending close to $1,500 a year at Yankee Candle. What I also realized was, is if I can make this, I could cut back on spending $1,500 a year at Yankee Candle. Because we would always go, we would try to go when they would have their, their sale, but at the same time, their sales were still outrageous sales. All right, and I'm not throwing shade on Yankee Candle. That's not what I'm doing because we love the scents at, at that time. But what I found that was is there is a way to not duplicate, but there is a way to make those scents and make them better. The one thing that I learned was and my mindset is, is if I'm going to be in business, I have to develop and change the way that I think. Uh, not only did I have to develop and change the way that I think, but I had to develop and change the way that I operated. Um, I had to change my routine. I had to change my habits. There's a lot of things that go into being in business, but there's a lot of things that go into being a candle maker just as well. All right. Um, and then number five, last but not least, I mean, you have to, you don't have to be a great salesman to sell candles. You have to be a great salesman to sell product, period. What you have to do is you literally, in this day and age, you have to have a presence. You have to be, uh, you have to be able to communicate. All right, salesmen will try to sell you uh, iceberg that doesn't exist. A salesman will try to sell you the fact that uh, the earth is flat when it's really round. But if you can communicate, you can have a mouthpiece, you can talk, you can, this is 2022, things have changed. 
The old way of selling is the old way. The new way of selling is the digital era. It's the communication era. It's the collaboration era. It's it, it, it's a it's a changing of the guard. That's what it is. All right. So you have to be able to communicate. You don't have to be a, a top salesman. You just have to know how to get in front of people, present your product, and then let your product talk for itself. All right. And that's what has happened with me. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm not the world's greatest salesman. I've been around people who work in sales. I'm not the world's greatest salesman. What I've learned is, is I've learned how to make my product stand out. And I don't do all the fancy knickknacks, throwing the, 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 the greenery and double. I haven't done it. What I've done is, is I've found a pain pattern with people. And that pain pattern is people hate to come home to a stuffy house or an office and there's just lingering odors. Another pain pattern is they don't want to continue to spend money on products that don't last no more than two or three days. All right. Our candles here at Wicked Odyssey Candle Co. Listen, our burn times last longer and our scents are amazing. And I'm not saying that just to, that's what we do. We want the scents to be the strongest scent that you can have, but at a at a decent, well-rounded cost. All right. So with that being said, man, starting a candle business in 2020 is simple. You just have to get out there, uh, formulate the idea, incorporate your business, get your first kit. Have the mindset and be be able to communicate. Everybody wants to tell you how to. You need to do this. You need to do that. I'm just giving you the suggestions because that's exactly what happened with me. I walked in. I walked into my job, literally on a Monday morning. Had some samples. By Wednesday, by Wednesday, I was ordering. Two hundred dollars worth of product. By the following Wednesday, I was reordered another two hundred dollars worth of product, but I was up a, a good fifteen hundred dollars. Minus my cost of spending and everything, at that particular point, I think my first profit was a thousand dollars. That's just selling them at work. That I'll basically tell you. I let the product speak for itself. All right, so you can do the same thing. Start your business in 2022, even going into 2023, because a lot of people tell you that you're too late. You're never too late to start a business. And the way the economy is going right now, it's the perfect time for you to get into anything, handcrafted, homemade, all of that. Man, craft, craft business is booming. You just have to know how to do it. All right, so we're back. If you like this content, know what to do hit that bell hit that bell notification subscribe to the channel drop us a like a comment whatever we're gonna continue to keep bringing us bringing out these videos just because this is what we like to do we like to show and educate all right so i also man if, if you got any questions feel free to ask if i don't know the answer i can get the answer you feel me but i'm quite sure somewhere down the line i, I pretty much have thought about it or have communicated with somebody. All right, man, it's, it's your boy Tone with, with Wicked Arts and Candle Co. Man, we up out of here, man. Peace. Hey, let there be light. We out here. Peace. <laughs>